it's really funny when you finish a project. I'm sure some of you will identify with this, but uh, it's really terrifying because you have to think, what next? And uh, I remember when I finished Maze at Maze, I, I left the printers in Germany and I was really like low, you know. And by the way, I'm happy too quite a lot of the time. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, but it's pretty low because I thought that's it, you know. Where where do we go from here? And um, uh, you know, you terrifying. And a year or two later, I I I I learned that the 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 other military structures in Northern Ireland, for which there were many were to be decommissioned as part of the peace process. And of course, the, the people who built the maze, the Royal Engineers, also built all the other infrastructures. Uh, and, you know, over this period, I'm beginning to really find this subject and find my voice with it. Uh, but it has been gradual. Uh, and I, up until outposts, I'd only worked in Northern Ireland. So it, it went maze, and then the watchtowers, and then the demolition. I mean, there's a couple of things that, I'm playing within the work all the time, sort of subconsciously, but it's very, it is there as a theme. There's quite a few themes, uh, uh, but, but the, 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 the idea of transience and the, the idea of, of, of uh, modern uh, structures, military structures being not to be built to be permanent, but almost built to, to, uh, to, be, to be put up quickly and taken down quickly. Uh, you might, for example, uh, we don't use the term base anymore, military base anymore. We use it much less. So, uh, you know, everything's camp, camp bastion, you know, uh, uh, camp leatherneck, camp this, camp, camp, camp. Because there's a, there's, a, there's a sort of implication of not being permanent, not wanting to imply occupation. And really this started in Northern Ireland uh, with, the, with the, the structures that the British Army built. Uh, and I found this fascinating how they could go up and go down so quickly and there was vir virtually never any trace. So the, the, the demolition project on the maze demolition was a very, again, a very cathartic process. Uh, uh, watching these walls being stripped away, layer after layer, and then this landscape to be revealed that was there <laughs> from the beginning of time. And it just, you know, that question of history, that question of, as a, as a photographer, I, I feel it, uh, obliged to, to uh, work with history. I, it's one of the reasons I fell in love with photography and its, its ability to record, and yet simultaneously, I feel uh, uh, at odds with the idea of history. I, I, we, we, everything is repeated. And, you know, the, uh, we, 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 we seem never to learn. We, 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 and, and it, so I, on the one hand, I have this strange relationship with, with the idea of history and li liking it and believing it and not liking it and not believing in it. And I like that, that dialogue I have with myself and the work very much um, you know, it, it has that going on, on in it. Um, but while all that's going on, there is there is a uh, a subject matter that's emerging uh, that is of fascination to me, which is this this idea of of uh, uh, observation, uh, architecture that's used for observation, and how landscape is also used as a tool in conflict. Uh, and these 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 uh, themes uh, I find extremely stimulating because it involves landscape, it involves uh, an architecture which is extraordinarily functional uh, it, it, and I think in itself reveals so much uh, and it has a, 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 an element of brutality to it and yet it has a, 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 a an element of fragility to it when you actually look at it these structures are strong they're they're, they, they're built to absorb uh, a rocket attack but yet they're built almost like sandcastles they're, they're, they're built uh, you know, and so all the, these contradictions, these these, these themings and layers, uh, 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 are, are very stimulating to me, and became increasingly stimulating to me. So that sort of that subject has emerged out of my experience of Northern Ireland, and enabled me to maybe look outside of Northern Ireland and see <laughs> how those ideas are are developing. And with watchtowers, there was um, I think the the beginnings of a, a, a way of shooting, which we can see in. In outposts, so out of the confines of the prison. Yes, out of me is came that sort of systematic working and you know understanding the the subject and the function of the subject and trying to work in that vein. Uh, the Watchtower's book was shot almost entirely from helicopter uh, because um, the the observation towers are are, are high up there on hills and. Uh, the only way to access, access them was through helicopter. 
there was there was absolutely no uh, politi political agenda in, in the work at all, and, and in fact, in all the work there isn't. Uh, but I, I am interested in, in revealing what these things do as a way of understanding how we as humans <laughs> operate in these sort of situations, and you know uh, they are fascinating. They they. You know, th these towers really worked as a matrix, a sort of visual architecture over a very broad area of land. And really what I wanted to show was, I wanted to show, that, show it as a structure, I wanted to show it as a structure within a landscape, and, and, and I wanted to, to look at it as an object uh, and really try to present it as an object uh, as clearly as possible. Um, uh, I was nervous of doing ideas of photographing it from the, from the, some people criticized me for that and said oh, I should have photographed it from the ground because you know that gives a sense of the oppression and all this sort of stuff and I wasn't interested in that I wasn't that I wasn't interested in making any statement but I was interested in showing it to you as a as a unique ph phenomena uh, and, and that's what how I saw it uh, and how it worked how it's you know its job and its function and um, so it, you know, I, I would I would circle it uh, via helicopter uh, uh, to to, uh, to to represent it as a, as an object, and and in doing that, you're you're looking at it like it looks at us. So you you're sort of you're you're, you're showing what it can do, uh, and then interleaving that with the views, um, and and that approach came from Maze. Um It's a bit more relaxed in outposts. Uh, uh, it's not as rigorous, I'd probably say, and and um, that that's uh, there's reasons for that. But um, essentially, that's a, a a way of working that I've developed now. Yeah. It's the presence of each of those watchtowers in in the landscape and the extent to which you can see that they have this control over the landscape mm -hmm. and the extent of the area which they're actually surveying. I think uh, you know how we quite powerful, really. Well, yeah, and and, and, and the. And the extent of the, the presence of them along the borderlines as well. In the, I mean, I just do find it fascinating, you know, how uh, as humans we we defend and we 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 manage landscape and people, and and I think I, I, I think it's a fascinating subject. I, I, I'm not yet good enough at articulating it and explaining why I find it fascinating. But I do think it goes to the core, or close to the core, of what who we are and what we're about, and and in a most basic, basic sort of primitive level. 